Hey guys, so today our friend invited us to do a video and a photo shoot for her company called Kimono Tokyo. So here we are just walking at Harajuku go on our way to the um, place and we're making a video while we're doing this like an introduction video. So here we are at the place, so if you're wondering, it's on, there's the building of McDonald's and it's on the third floor of the McDonald's building. So this is a place, they had so many different types of kimonos and hakamas. So here I did the makeover and I wore the Lolita kimono. So the makeover took like three hours or like more even. It took quite a while with like the hair and makeup and putting it on. Like putting it on took like about 30 minutes around but the makeup took like one hour and a half or something. It was really long. So I was like a little bit shy because like everyone was just staring at me like really just looking in my face and yeah so I got I was just a little bit embarrassed but otherwise it was really nice so I felt like just a little bit embarrassed with the bangs but if I didn't have the bangs I was like really fine I was like really happy with the outfit so it was really hot that day but I so my waist felt a little bit hot but my legs were like really it didn't feel so hot and yeah I usually wear my hair up and hair down with like heavy makeup like it made me feel like I was sweating a lot so at the beginning I had this like high heels and I twi I sprained my ankles like three three times so I finally changed to my sneakers and felt like really light and cool when I wore those sneakers so here we just left the Harajuku like place and we're going to the Meiji shrine so before you enter Meiji Shrine, you actually need to bow, which I never heard. So my friend Ji told me that. I have bangs now. Like, I didn't like the bangs too much. Like, they were like getting in my way and I don't really look good in bangs. But then later I took them off and I felt so much better again. So here we are just walking at Meiji Shrine and like it felt really nice because we don't go like often, we never went to like such a big shrine and like there were many trees and like a leaf so it was a really nice bit. Uh, right now we're walking at Meiji Shrine, it's really nice. With my friend Ji. Actually at the Meiji Shrine there was like a new place so like we, me and my friend Ji wanted to be the first to enter so finally we were like the I was like the fifth to enter and yeah so then I was running there and that's why like my like white thing fell off. So I actually really liked my curled hair and the eyes so like at the beginning like the eyelashes were hurting my eyes out bit, so we took them off and then looked like really nice. So there are like many small like flowers and like mini trees that look really cute. I especially like the small trees. Then they also had like small villages made out of plants and stuff. And I really like the one with the people. Like I never saw anything like it. So actually in most Japanese shrines or like Japanese like touristic places, they have these places where you can like take water with the stick and pour it on your hands or drink it even. So we also bowed when we entered the second part of the shrine. So here we're doing this thing called omikuji, it's like a Japanese fortune telling. Here we're just shaking and then like on the stick it says like a number and like and then on you give it to the lady and then you'll get like the paper that has the number on it. I did like this fortune telling thing like omikuji and this is what I got. Mm -hmm. I got number seven and this is so I so I really like this place also, so they had like like famous foods from different places all around Japan. Okay, we're 
were at the shrine and we, we just um, put some coins into the place where you put the coins and then we like shook the bell and we prayed. So before we left, we also decided to write like our wishes on a piece of paper. So we just wrote our wishes on a paper and then like put like uh, some money in there and put it into the box. And here I am writing my wish. So I really, act I actually really like the walk. It was really nice. Like. I wouldn't wear it like every single day, but sometimes it would be really nice to wear it again. So yeah, if we go to the same kimono place next time, I'd really like to try the goth gothic style. So yeah, thanks for watching and please comment down below if you ever tried any type of kimono. Bye!